<laughs> well, we did it, lads. 500 subs and then some. Looks like all those pog champs in chat paid off. Again, here's the government mandated thank you bit because apparently I have to be a good person and thank my subs. So, um, thanks. Alright, here's the Q&A that I promised. Let's just jump right into it. Nav Generate asks, you have a YouTube channel? Um, yes. How did you come up with your name? So, those of you who may have spent an uncomfortable amount of time around me know that I used to be really into a webcomic called Homestuck. And for the people who know what I'm talking about, you're about to regress into your early teen years and relive some unfortunate memories. Basically, Homestuck started out as a parody of Choose Your Own Adventure comics, but it quickly exploded into one of the most complex stories many people have ever experienced. The characters in the comic use a chat client called Pesterchum to communicate, and the username followed a pattern of two words put together. Back when I was really into Homestuck, I made my own. Even back then, I knew I wanted to make comics when I got older, so I took the word serial, as in series, and artistry to represent comics, which are serialized art. It also had the added bonus of sounding super edgy, you know, like serial killer. I know, ripe for puns. Favorite video I've created? Definitely my extinguisher video. If you thought I was gonna say my sound from Smith animation, you're wrong. I hate that video. I could have done so much better. Who or what got me into TF2? Well, that's kind of a long story, but it boils down to a lot of people at my middle school being into it at the time. Even then, though, I didn't really have that much information on it, so it wasn't until high school that I decided to download it on Steam after watching the Meet Team shorts and getting hooked. And, well, you know, already know the rest. What started me creating art? Uh, well, back when I was an impressionable preteen with no real opinions of my own, I saw Green Lantern in theaters and I loved it. Then I bought the comics. Then I started drawing the characters. And now we're here. Good story. What is my favorite drawing I've done? Well, it would have to be either the thumbnail I did for MGE with Harenko, or the one I did very recently of my demo put out, because I really do like that comic book style. Favorite color? Well, since I'm such a nerd, I had the exact hex code of it memorized. It's 395385. Favorite weapon? Well, that's pretty hard to decide, actually. I guess it would have to be the battalion's backup. I know, not a scout weapon, but seriously, this thing is amazing in pubs. 20 extra health and insane resistance to damage when your meter's full. It's like your own personal uber. Favorite skin? Probably, uh, alien tech, but there are so many, it's really hard to decide. Is this the part where I get donations? Favorite hat? It's pretty close, but it's probably either the federal case maker or the cotton head. I really do like those all-class fedoras. Favorite unusual effect? Phosphorus. It's the sole reason why I have this brown bomber. Top 9 classes and what Australium do I wish I had? Well, I'm not sure about the first one, aside from the fact that Spy is definitely at the bottom, and as for Australiums, I want Probably the sticky launcher. Don't get me wrong, I love my coffin nail one, but the Australian version just looks so cool. Favorite game mode? Well, I would have thought it was obvious given the two videos I've made on it one month. It's pastime, of course. Best game mode ever. I rated eight tracks out of five. How do you become an epic gamer? Well, I know it's different for everyone, but I got bitten by a radioactive alley A, and the next day I was getting Fortnite wins left and right. Hell yeah. How long did it take me to get an unusual, and what is my dream one? Well. Honestly, my trading history is pretty fucked up. During the Halloween 2016 event where you could unbox unusuals at twice the rate you could normally, I unboxed a Starstorm Slumber Bedouin Bandana, which is a god tier actually, elite grade, all class, limited Halloween effect. Of course, you might be asking, Serial, where is it now? Well, I'll get into that later. But as for my dream unusual, it's a phosphorus virtual viewfinder, because I really like the misc. But it's like a thousand keys, so I definitely won't be getting my hopes up anytime soon. But hey, Bob Splosion, if you want to give me a donation, because I'm so cool, I'd totally up for that. How do I like being locked in your basement and fed virtual currency in exchange for artwork, Source Pan? Well, it could be worse, I guess. I've got a nice view of a brick wall through the bars of my cage, but I will admit it gets kind of drafty on cold nights. Favorite map? Enclosure. Gotta love all those flink rats. Have I gotten scammed and how? Well, this is kind of a long story, but basically, when I got my Bedouin bandana, I got a lot of invites, most of whom were scammers. I was completely new to trading, yes, but I wasn't stupid, so of course I figured out how to navigate between them. Thankfully, a guy named Guns was patient and kind enough to help me through the process of selling it. I wasn't necessarily looking to make profit, I just wanted a cool all class unusual. Basically, I ended up selling it for a spectral swirl conga and an orbiting fire brown bomber. And then I got an invite from someone else looking to buy my conga. This was back before unusual taunts were worth as much as a vintage back burner, so naturally this guy sharked me out of it by making a fake backpack.tf listing, saying that his unusual scattergun was worth more than my conga. Since I was new to trading, I accepted, and ta-da, rip profit. Don Lalo asks why I main scout, accompanied by this uh, wonderful image. Um, I like moving fast and aiming faster, but I started maining scout mostly because of that unusual scattergun I was just talking about. Favorite class, personality-wise? Probably soldier. What was the first solid food I ever ate? Broken glass. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third ear rape joke I've made so far this video. This is truly the pinnacle of comedy. Oh boy. 
I hate myself. What game would I be playing if it weren't for TF2? Well, knowing my ability to get latched onto things I like and never let go, it's safe to say that I'd be a Fortnite YouTuber right now. I know, it's a chilling thought, but let's be sure to give our thanks to Lord Newell for this blessing. Have I ever thought about making a Steam group or Discord? I mean, I never thought I had much of a fan base to warrant that kind of thing. Even now, fan base seems like a bit of an overstatement. But if you guys really want me to do that, let me know. I'm open to it, I guess. What are your opinions on up? Actually, no, I'm not gonna answer that. And last, but definitely least, how does this image make me feel? Um, actually, I can feel a blood clot forming in my brain and causing a stroke from it right now, so if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go ride my clown tricycle to the hospital now. Um, thanks for 500 subs, don't forget to give the like button an Indian sunburn, and be sure to click on the bell button as many times as it takes for YouTube to fix their flawed system. Bye!